What's up guys, today I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing a guide to how I farm resources in the Void, Realmsgate, and just how I get uh, COT so fast, because I, uh, I got SFX here in about four months after getting an E5, and uh, I get about 100k COT every three days. That's with buying cores, but I also farm a pretty low uh, void corruptions. I get a, I get a V2 ticks, a V1, and then let's see, I get a V3 a little bit, V1 a little bit HP, V2 of course, and then V1 max. But uh, I have 711,000 COT, and I just got SFX about two weeks ago, so I'm going up pretty fast to be honest. I get 100k COT every day still, and yeah, I'm just going to show you how I farm and realms gate and how i get cot so fast so right now i max vc is 31 honestly i could probably beat the easier waves on like 35 but i just i don't really feel like wasting lumio energy just to like go up void corruption it might help though so i might actually do that soon but i just farm at my max for now but uh what i do is i don't smash because smashing is not that good a lot of people smash but as you can see here there's a dark wave so i'm gonna put this on 25 i'm gonna battle real quick and i beat it at 25 so i only get 285 cot right now because i am uh, i don't have the monthly cards right now but if i had the monthly cards i would get 15 percent more so that would be about 301 cot i think but uh that's at uh vc 25 let's put it up to 31 let's see what i do though is I have this on 31 to be easy waves like these, and I can beat it pretty easy. Then, as you can see here, like in uh, this, I don't actually wish I. I don't want to use SFX because if I use SFX, my team's going to be weak. I was tossing a ribbon. But as you can see here, there's two Asmos. I can't beat that at 31, and I don't want to use two tries because that's going to cost more Lumio energy when I could be getting more COT. I'm just, you know, doing it in one try. So I'm going to put it at 25 and toss in a Sherlock. A second Sherlock. And that's what I'm going to be using for the rest. Now that I have uh, V2 ticks, it should actually help. Sadly, I don't have the monthly cards right now. So I am getting less resources. But this is just how I kind of farm it. And then I put it up the back, back to 31 before I go to the next one. And as you can see here, they're all, both of them are bosses. That's why I like going to the question marks so i'm gonna put this on 22 and i should be able to beat the bosses one it should only take one hit for both of them because I'm, i've kind of checked and 22 is kind of the perfect spot so there we go we beat it first try this might be a little bit harder it might not take one try but i think it will ah oh, no we lost how much health 45 percent. what we lost again okay that's really bad rng we shouldn't have lost three times right there as you can see though that took 30 energy when i could have beat i i could have got two 2k extra cot from that 20 energy if i would have you know lowered my uh void corruption to actually beat that but i also had a speed attack stone on if i actually had a holy damage attack attack it might have helped and i still have a speed set up so i didn't really optimize before going in the void i'll toss on holy damage attack attack stone real quick uh crit crit attacks better in the void for tixes but I don't have that just yet, so. Uh, let's see. Should we go to the middle? Now nah, we'll go to the bottom. But I'm going to put it back on 31 for regular waves. Let's see here. So waves like this should be easy. Guru should be easy. And then these two right here, dark and light, I'm going to put it at 25. As you can see, I'm getting 299. I'm getting a lot less because of the monthly cards, which kind of sucks, but I'll get the monthly cards back soon enough. But, uh... Here we're gonna put it on 25 to beat these. This is why I never smash my realms gate. Oh look at the dude's health. I I basically never lose these. I I haven't lost these in forever, but sometimes there's always that, you know, bad RNG you get with a very, very low you know chance rate you have of losing. And right here, really nice, I get you know more COT from this. Which is, it's, I kind of like the chest, but a lot of the time it wastes your uh, Lumio energy on opening chests like this. Like, I don't want that. I'd rather have, you know, COT from the chest. But uh, as you can see here, we ran out of energy. But right here, I put it on 25 to beat this. Basically, what you're going to want to do, though, to farm 
in the realms gate, you know, and basically get almost probably two times as much COT and and almost two times as much stellar as you getting before. Just make sure you one shot every single wave. That's what you want to do. If you can beat it in one try, if you lower it ten VC, as long as you can beat it in one try, you're gonna be getting so much more resources. But a lot of people smash and they think, oh I'll just leave it on this, but you you want to be able to beat it one try for all of them. And some of them are harder than other ones. It's also like the bosses. You don't want to smash through them because if you have the same VC you use to beat the regular people, you're not going to beat the boss on that VC unless you have like a Nosuke cheese. <clears throat> but it's kind of how I do it. I also just got Explorer on my other account. <clears throat> I haven't really pushed on this one. But uh, as you can see, we just got... How much COT did I get from there? I got 10k COT. That's without the monthly cards. And that's actually with losing a lot. So... I got 10k COT from 100 energy, so that's that's actually not too bad. It's pretty good. And also, uh, I'm still doing Fate. Uh, hopefully I pull a Sphere soon. I should uh, be able to get one tomorrow. Oh, I haven't done my quest? Oh, whatever, I'll do those later. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a guide to you know how I farm uh, the Void and Realms Gate and how I get you know as much COT and Stellar as I do. I mean, I know other people have an Osuke cheese and stuff, and they... Dude, they get a lot more COT and Stellar, which is really cool. I wish I had a splendid MSS and, you know, two Inoskis to do that. Because that would be insane boost to my COT and Stellar. But this is kind of the way I farm the Realms Gate. I used to not do it like this, and I was, like, very slowly getting COT. I had to get, like, 500k a month. And now I get about a million a month without turning Spheres into COT. So this is a pretty good method. It's You get about double you would get normally. But uh, yeah, I thought I would just share that with y'all for the people who don't know that and, you know, just been smashing, you know, Realms Gate. And, you know, you kind of help you and, you know, have you get more uh, COT and Stellar to make your account progress faster. Because this is only a VIP 6. It's a 7 month old VIP 6. And it's it's not doing too bad. I mean, it's a pretty good account. Already got SFX a good amount of Stellar too. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, uh, you know, make sure to like and subscribe be greatly appreciated, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.